struggle when you're young, your life will be easier when you're an adult. That's what my mom always said. Honestly, it was probably just a distorted version of some proverb. Your mother gave me this. In case anything ever happened, she wanted you to have it. Dear Chihiro, you must be very surprised to find yourself suddenly all alone in the world. I'm so sorry that I couldn't stay with you forever. It's every mother's dream that she be able to see her child grow into an adult. I'm sure you're probably wondering what's going to happen to you after this. Huh? Huh? I think you'll be fine, so don't worry. Mr. Sun always hides behind clouds. My only concern is that you're a little bit of a nervous wreck. Remember that life usually works out okay in the end, so you don't have to stress about it too much? Do your best. Love, Mom. Thanks so much for the pep talk, Mom. Chihiro, what are you doing? You're welcome to stay here while you figure things out. <laughs> Doesn't matter how you look at it. An elementary school kid is just too young to have to go through this kind of stuff. It's gotta be tough. I'm surprised you came to school today. I made the bed, dusted everything, took out the garbage, started laundry, and prepped the food for dinner. There was nothing left for me to do, so I came to school. Uh, I could use some help with my bedroom, you know. So what are you gonna do now? Are you moving in with a cousin or something? I don't really have any relatives. Seriously? I guess you'll just be homeless. Hmm. Uh, That'll be cool. Yeah! Wow, thanks for the encouragement. Morning. If you need anything at all, just let me know, okay? <laughs> See you later. Bye. It's kind of weird. I feel like I'm stuck in a daze. I guess things haven't had time to sink in yet. I mean, it makes sense. Mom was always working, so maybe I'm just used to not having her around. I might get to skip the whole grieving process. Huh? Please, go away! Down! Down! I was only trying to mind my own business here! I had no way of knowing I was on your turf! Have you come to save me? Please, kid, I'm on borrowed time here! I can tell that you're judging me. That devilish monstrosity has you completely fooled. I know he looks cute with those precious paws and wiggly tail, but the fangs just get sharper with age, you know. Thank you so much. Let's go. I appreciate you rescuing me. You're my hero. <laughs> hmm. Wait a second. Little boy, might I ask if your name is Chihiro? <laughs> who you are first. So I'm right. You have such a remarkable resemblance. Uh. So nice to meet you. My name is Madoka Takatari. I'm your long-lost uncle. What? This opportunity will be such a blessing. We'll rest easy now you have a place to live. Master Madoka, I was wondering where you went. Were you lost without me, Keiichiro? Look who I brought home. His belongings are all outside. Will you bring them in for him? Certainly. Uh, just a minute, okay? Huh? Um, I don't think I'm the person you were looking for. Please tell me you confirmed everything before you brought him here. Of course I did. And anyway, look at his face. You can just tell. No way. Huh? None of this makes any sense. We didn't really have a lot of money. And Mom said we didn't have any relatives. Well, 
She was estranged from the family for a long while. I suppose it's only natural she'd have considered herself alone in the world. I wonder why she kept that from you. <laughs> Hard to believe such a young woman could die of heart failure. She struggled day after day just to make ends meet. Why? If she had a family, why didn't they ever try to help her? My sister wanted to live life on her own terms. Though we both knew it would disgrace our father, she left home and had you. She valued the freedom to do things her way. Well then, that's what I'll do too! I'll make it by myself without help from anyone! I'm going home! Going home? To where? <gasps> that place is not your home anymore. It would make things a lot easier if you'd let yourself be helped. I feel you have every right to do so. You're a child, after all. She hit her! Wait! Now, what was the point of teasing the boy? I know you're right, but he was saying such cute things I couldn't help myself. He really reminds me so much of my sister. It's true. He certainly gets his strong will from her. His looks, too. You sounded serious about taking him in. Forgive me, but I can't quite imagine you looking after a child. I do have a lot to learn, but I'd really like to try. Call it a burst of spontaneity in honor of my big sister. The young man seems to have no interest in living here, though. Not right at this moment, but it isn't as if he has many options. I'm sure he understands he can't survive on his own. He's a little young for that yet. I wish I was a grown-up. I could do whatever I want. Oh, come on now, Chihiro. You gotta perk up. If it weren't for me, maybe Mom would still be alive. Please come back. <laughs> so where do you think he ran off to, anyway? Considering the direction he went, he's probably in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> The kitchen? I don't think I've paid it a visit for three months or so. No. No! What the heck is this? Chihiro? No you two must be out of your minds! You think I would ever live in this filthy pool? Oh, wow. Do you suppose washing dishes could be the boy's strange hobby? You know as well as I do how revolting it is in there. I've told you many times to hire somebody. But I'm not good with strangers. You should know that by now. Oh, this smells like death! When was this even from? Well, guess who just had himself an idea? I can't believe it's happening this early in the year. Be nice! This is the best one I've had in a while! Considering your track record, that's not saying much. Too. You should try having a little pride in where you... Oh. Oh. Ever heard of a duster? Oh, have you finished your chores in time for the ball? Congratulations, Cinderfella! My name is Chihiro. I'm just giving you a hard time. However, I really can't deny how much work you put into tidying up the kitchen. Not a speck of dirt! You really need to hire a housekeeper or something. There's so many health code violations. I think that's a wonderful idea. I already have someone in mind for the job. That's good to know. Three meals a day plus snacks. It'd be a live-in position and huh? cover school fees. Sound good? What do you think? Huh? You'd hate to be indebted to the Takatari family, so I'd like to offer an opportunity where you can earn your keep instead. A little give and take. P.S. Those who do not work shall not eat. Oh, did she know? Huh? Okay, then. I'll clean this dump for you, but I can still leave at any time. I think that sounds pretty fair. You're hired, Chihiro. Uh, 
gotta be kidding! You can't work without a uniform! Fine, but does it really need to be so frilly? Oh, you don't like the ruffles? I think they suit you. I'm out of here, sicko! Come now, being adorable will make you work that much harder. That doesn't make any sense at all! Would you be more comfortable in a different color? I've got pink and yellow as well. What about the color! How sad. I had hoped we would get along better than this, Chi. I'd hope that you wouldn't be a total lunatic! And don't call me Chi! <laughs> You're telling me that he's been cleaning without a break since last night? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Why is he still running around? Are you trying to work him to death his first week here? No. I told him he needed to stop working and rest, but then he got all snippy. He said... How can you sleep in a dump like this, huh? Uh, I can't believe he disrespected our home. You play the victim well, but you know he was justified. You could have told him this room is always available if he wants to relax. I make sure to keep it clean in case guests stop by. I tried, but he said all of the corners were caked with dirt and it repulsed him. So he just started cleaning from top to bottom. <gasps> I dusted yesterday. Besides, it looked like he was really enjoying himself, so I didn't want to disturb him. I figured he'd tire out eventually. That makes sense. Now tell me why he's wearing a maid's apron and headband. Oh, so you noticed! I made the outfit myself. When I told him it was his uniform, I didn't think he'd actually put it on. But what can you do? There's no going back now. Toying with a grieving child's trust. That's healthy. Come on, it looks absolutely adorable on him. Which is why I made several extras so he'd have a lot of color options. In other words, you've accomplished nothing and basically wasted most of the day. Oh, I've been found out! This is my house! All I ask is that you complete one worthwhile task. Finally made it to the next one. <laughs> Every single room in this place is dirty! You deserve to be evicted! This is why there's no good reason to have this many rooms in one house! It's not like you're using them for anything other than hiding your junk! I'm so exhausted. I just want to go back home. I have to face reality. What happened? Oh, dear. Please don't pick it up with your bare hands. I'll be right back with a broom. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I can pay for it. A broken vase is the least of my worries now. Please humor me by at least trying to sleep. I'm not even tired. There's really no need to be so stubborn about this. Look, I told you I'm fine, so just leave me alone! Shihiro, please, don't rush yourself. You've been through quite an ordeal. It takes time to settle into a new place. And it really is disgusting in here. My feelings! Ah! Listen, you won't last much longer if you're always on guard. Take a moment to breathe, to relax. Please know you're welcome to call this your home. I'm so sorry. I really am. Home. My home. No. I don't know anything about this place. Uh, Chihiro? He's sleeping? Finally. That's good. We can take this time to set up a bedroom for him. Huh? Everything happened so suddenly I had no way of preparing for his arrival. How about we make this house a home? What do you say? What shall I do with this thing? Oh, you could throw that away. Hello there. I hope you slept well. You were out for a while. What are you two doing? We're busy getting a bedroom ready for you. Huh? The original plan was to have you choose which room you liked the most. But then I figured you could move if this one isn't to your tastes. To be honest, I've never actually had my own room before. <laughs> Now that we're done cleaning, why don't we have afternoon tea? Maybe a few sweet treats. That sounds great. Uh. 
cleaning. Mm -hmm. You can look me in the eye and tell me this seems clean to you. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> That about does it. We appreciate your business. <laughs> you love it so much you're speechless. Only the finest linens for my little nephew. Don't be afraid to tell him if this hideous thing isn't to your liking. Amazing. Really, Chi, is there anything you can't do? You didn't have to make me anything, but I'll save her every bite. There's seconds if you want mm. more. It's been so long since I've had a home-cooked meal. Mmm, it's perfect. I'm glad you like it and everything, but it's really not that big of a deal. This isn't the time to be modest. You should have a cooking show. to, but I may forget. I thought I'd take a crack at bonding with you tonight. What do you think? Love is a good topic, right? I don't want to bond with you! Different subject, then. Get out what of now! Your deepest fears. Hmm. Now, time to work. Tell me something. Which color do you prefer, pink or purple? Green is my favorite color. Green, huh? Why are you asking? Hmm. Hey, uh... This is normal behavior for him, so I wouldn't worry too much if I were you. He's acting even weirder than usual, and he didn't finish eating. His deadline for the play is coming up soon. He usually gets a burst of inspiration towards the end and works like a madman. <laughs> Oh, so he's an actor? He didn't tell you what he does for a living? Believe it or not, Master Monica is an extremely talented costume designer. Hmm. He's always at home, so I just assumed that he was some eccentric creep. <laughs> it's open now? This room is all mine! If you clean it up, I won't be able to find anything! I've seen him sit so quietly. He's focusing. He's different than he usually is. Like a mature adult or something. Hmm? Huh? Take a break. So you actually made all the clothes in this room from scratch? Hmm, I sure did. Hmm. Uh, what's that for? I just need to borrow your head for a moment. Mm. Don't you need to sleep? I'm too busy to stop. You're gonna get sick if you don't get enough rest. I noticed you didn't eat very much food today either. That's so adorable! I can't believe you're actually worrying about me! <laughs> no, I'm not! I usually quit for the night when I hit a stopping point. No need to worry yourself. No need to worry yourself. It's all okay. You shouldn't push yourself too hard. Everyone needs to take a break from time to time. I'll rest, I promise. And I assure you, I keep my promises. What's that even mean? It's a secret. Remember that life usually works out okay in the end, so you don't have to stress about it too much. I still don't know for sure if things are gonna turn out, but I'm going to keep doing my best for her. Finally finished! 
You're really through? So that's the last of it, right? I'm all done. Take a look. So cute, Meow. It fits perfectly. I guess I caught Cat Scratch fever last night. What about your work? Oh, I still have plenty of that left. Ah! Oh! No goofing around until you're finished!